This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. This is Ian Lazarus, and thank you for joining me. I've been um, getting some requests for a slightly more in-depth demonstration of the Compass Quality Management System, so we're going to be providing that to you here today. Something a little bit more detailed than what you see in that five-minute video, but, but not quite as uh, time-consuming as the one-hour demonstrations that we typically do. So that's what we're going to be showing you today. You can hear, see here the main menu of the Compass Quality Management System. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we believe that Compass is all about feeling supported. Um, we know we, you want to support your employees and we want to support them as well. So uh, we communicate to them through these announcements. We give them the opportunity here to visit the Creato Connection where we have a number of pre-recorded uh, videos set up for them. They can review them 24-7. Many of them focus on how to leverage the Compass system. Uh, other topics ranging from leadership development to performance improvement. Uh, they can also get the Compass Companion here. The Companion is our mobile app. Uh, because Compass is all about feeling supported, that means people need to feel they have a voice in the organization. The mobile app gives them that voice, and so they can um, they can pursue that here as well. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see I'm, I'm signed in today as John Smith. I have a couple notifications. Compass will track notifications for me, which are basically any activity that's relevant to me since the last time that I signed in. I can click and view those. Um, Compass will also email me, so it's very unlikely uh, that I would miss anything important. The combination of the emails and the notifications keep me current. In the upper left-hand corner, we would uh, deploy this system with your organization's logo, and in fact, all of Compass is customizable. Drop-down windows will reflect uh, the way in which you want to do improvement work. It'll include your business areas and your departments, and of course, your people will all be preloaded into the system. So when it is delivered, it is already being customized for you. Uh, here you can see the various tiles taking you into different mod modules. Compass is based on permissions, so every individual may have a different set of permissions, uh, giving them access to different features. Uh, the two most common uh, permissions would be, first of all, access to everything, and that would be for people doing improvement work in quality departments, Lean Six Sigma departments, compliance, risk management. You know, wherever there is improvement activity being done, uh, Compass is there to support. Um, then there is a less expensive privilege, mostly used by senior management or entry-level people, just the ability to add ideas into the system as well as view reports. So we recognize there's that community that wants to have a voice. Uh, Compass can literally become your electronic suggestion box. And of course, management needs to have a view into all the activities. So there is that second um, permission level, which is much more uh, affordable uh, and allows you to push Compass deep into the organization. So let's go ahead and jump in. It, everything starts with ideas, right? The best ideas become projects. Uh, here we have a view into the ideas that, that we have developed. You have a private view into your, your own ideas, and no one sees them until you are ready. Uh, so you can nurture them, build your business case. Uh, here you can see I have several of them in here. Um, I can track the disposition of them and see those that I've already released for review uh, versus those that I haven't. I'm going to push to the very back end of this queue here and show you uh, maybe a different view. You can see I have one that's been deferred. It's probably waiting for more information from me, and Compass will actually email me uh, to let me know that. And then when I respond to the requested information, Compass will automatically uh, put it back in front of management for review again. So we have that own personal view. Um, down here, we have the view of all published ideas. This is where I like to say perception meets reality. You have the perception here on the left-hand side, individuals weighing in um, on, on their views, specifically with respect to each opportunity that's, that's been published here. And then the reality over here is the objective scoring uh, established by the software. I'll get into that in a little bit. But what's really um, important to recognize is that it is not uncommon for organizations to have several hundred ideas. They'll each get their day in court, but what we want to have you do is focus on the ideas that are most compelling. So you've got the view here that actually puts the highest score at the top. But if you wanted to see, for example, the opportunities that have the greatest level of, of, um, uh, of grassroots support, a couple of clicks will bring those up for you in rank order. Um, you can look at, again, the ones with the highest overall score. Um, you know, we would never suggest that a score of 18 is more compelling than a score of 17. For one thing, the one that has a score of 17 has a much higher ROI associated with it. But we want you to be talking about the ones that are the most compelling. And so Compass gives you that, that prioritization as well as those various options. 
if I was uh, considering to put in um, uh, another idea, I might want to look and see what else is in there around that particular topic. So I'm not putting in anything that is redundant. Uh, so Compass can avoid some redundancy that way. Um, so we have a very good clean list. If I want to drill in and look at the opportunities in different parts of the organization, I can search by facility, I can search by business area. Again, all of these are going to be customized for you. In this case, we have it customized around a traditional hospital environment because um, we have a, a, a number of, of hospital clients in our, org, uh, in our uh, client network. So here you can see a couple of examples of opportunities impacting the emergency department. So this, this dynamic sorting helps an organization to be very efficient in how they're vetting these project opportunities. Um, and I'll show you in a moment how we can actually rescore the ideas that, that uh, may have been subject to some bias. So, okay, that's how ideas come in. Those ideas can also come in through the mobile app. While I'm at it, I want to show you the page we have set up there. You can get a view into what that looks like. The Compass Companion is the name for our mobile app. Any ideas that come in through the mobile app flow directly into Compass. You can download the mobile app from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. So if, if, if management uh, suspected that there was some bias associated with some of these uh, entries or they just wanted to vet them a little further, they have a different view. Remember I said that everything is permissions driven. Uh, they can come in here and look at these ideas um, and have more, more information available to them. So I'm just gonna pick one at random here um, and show you uh, this is the information that was gathered when the uh, idea was first put into the system. So the author has a very similar view. So I'm gonna just jump to the management view. The author of the idea um, would have the ability to establish the merits of the project. And everything here is customizable, folks, both the field title as well as the response. Again, I've got it set up to be um, uh, an example that would be in a healthcare environment. So we have clinical quality. If, if it was a products organization, it might be product quality, it might be customer experience. Everything is customizable. The responses here relate to certain numerical values. Those are also customizable. And if I felt that the individual submitting this idea brought some personal bias to it, or if I, if I had newer or better information, I might come in here and rescore this this particular opportunity. When I save it, it will go back into the database with a different score. So just to demonstrate that very quickly, we're going to come back here, go to the one that's at the very top, and we're going to go ahead and rescore it. This is reducing cycle, cycle time for a lab test. And I'm going to go through and rescore this one. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to the, uh, the, uh, the queue, and you can see it has been pushed down. So that's how that works. Every client that we support has some kind of a governance function. They meet on a regular basis. They look into the Compass software. They'll do their, re their, their uh, rescoring. Uh, the other thing that they may do is they may ask for, for some feedback uh, from the um, author of the idea. First of all, they may do nothing more than saying thank you. And we've gone a long way towards convincing our employees that you know there's not a black hole in our organization. In fact, we do listen and we do care. But we can also push back and, and get you know more information, try to enhance the business case. When I when I click save, Compass will grab the email address of the author and send them an email from within Compass and give them a shortcut back to Compass so they can supply the requested information. By the way, Compass will always come back and acknowledge for us that it did what we wanted it to do. Very advanced um, from a design philosophy. To, so you have no ambiguity. The Compass is not uh, following your direction. You get these, these feedback notices. So um, if we were going to ask for more information, we might defer this concept for later. A Compass will put it into a holding pool. I won't be distracted by it any longer. Um, uh, but when the author submits the information again, Compass will automatically pull it out of that deferred queue and present it to management again for consideration. But let's assume we love the idea. You know, we have no further questions uh, or concerns about it. We want to launch it. Compass will allow us to select from a broad range of methodologies uh, that may have been preloaded for you. Uh, we have Lean In here, which is one of the more popular. Also, Demac, which is the method of Six Sigma. Uh, we have many, many more methods that you don't see here. We, we are basically loading in the methods that our customers want to see in this drop-down menu. So we're adapting to the way in which they want to do improvement work. You know, the sign of a good software product is you shouldn't have to adapt to it. We should be adapting to how you want to use the system. 
We can go ahead and assign this to John Smith so we can track it through and assign a date uh, to launch it. And now we're done. We can go ahead and launch this project and Compass will in fact come back and tell me that it did just that. It removed that project idea from the ideation module, converted it to a live project. When I click continue, it's taking me into my project queue and there's that idea right there that we just approved. So you can see how that um, idea has grown up. It graduated, it's a, pro it's a project now and it's in my project queue along with many, many others. And um, uh, from here, I can drive into any of these particular projects. I'm going to drive into this one where I know I have some demonstration data already set up. So this is the view available to folks that are actually doing the improvement work. The heavy lifting of the improvement work is done here. And um, Compass has pulled forward for me the DMAIC methodology because you can see up here, this is a DMAIC project. If I had chosen um, PDCA, I would see plan to check act. If I chose 5S, I'd see the 5S's here. Uh, Compass is agnostic to the method. It's gonna pull forward the method that was pre-programmed for you. Um, below the, uh, this particular window here, I can see some information that has been uh, brought over from the project charter. Here I can gather the emails. The emails are very important because when I click send project update, Compass will sweep up all the emails assigned to this project and send that community an A3 report in real time. So. They don't even have to be Compass users, by the way. Even if they are stakeholders that have a completely different email address than your organization, they'll still get a PDF of the A3 report. So that's one way we help you communicate broadly. One click sends that A3 report out to everyone that you have defined to this particular project. Compass gives you the uh, protocols for doing the work. Here you can see as I open up the define phase, it looks like I've finished everything there and I've got quite a bit of documentation that will be in that A3 report. So I can close that and open the next one. Uh, Compass uh, tells me I've completed most of this phase, but let's take the scenario where maybe I didn't, uh, I didn't get this far and I'm at the value stream analysis phase. Um, I mentioned before Compass is all about feeling supported. If I um, have done value stream mapping before, I don't need any more direction. I can come over here and look at the tools and training that's available. Compass will always recommend the best tools and training based on where I am in the project. Here uh, it assumes that I'm in the measure phase and so you were seeing a lot of um, you know, descriptive statistics and mapping tools. There happens to be a value stream mapping tool. I can tell Compass to go get me the tool. But let's say I'm not really comfortable with value stream mapping. It's, it's kind of new to me. I'm, maybe I'm a freshly minted uh, Six Sigma green belt. I'd like to uh, have a little bit of a tutor tutorial around value stream mapping. That being the case, come and look at the training. The training, again, will already, always be aligned with where you are in the project, um, in the measure phase, and so some topics specific to measurements, as well as a, a, a module on value stream analysis. And I can tell Compass, you know, don't get me the tool just now, get me the training instead. We never tie your hands behind your back. You can look at all the tools, you can look at all the training. And so we'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, but it, it, at some point you're gonna move through all of these different phases down to the control phase, and you'll capture the uh, tangible and intangible savings and close out this project. As you're completing it, each phase, we want our users to click send project update so that the stakeholders will feel uh, connected to this project. A couple of other useful features, we can connect to SharePoint. So if you have individuals that are um, in your organization that um, want to pull in other um, foreign file formats, whether it's PowerPoint, PDFs, even competing software products can be married with Compass tools here on the SharePoint side. And we can do this with other document management systems as well. What, what happened when we launched this project is one button, folks, just one button launched a subsite in, in SharePoint with the same title. That one button pushed all the Compass tools out to the SharePoint site in a file folder structure that helps us to segment the tools and to create this indexing of work. So that years from now, if, if I wanna find the, um, you know, the, the uh, results of a, of a statistical test um, in, in the system or a capability analysis in the system, I'm always gonna know what folder it's in no matter the project because of this architecture that Compass has created for all the projects. Final benefit is if I got the A3 report and I wanna see um, the most recent activity, 
uh, in the system, I can look at those timestamps that SharePoint provides for me so I can find, you know, the latest, greatest activity um, that was in here. And if they, if you have users that, you know, they're, they're, they're in love with it, whatever statistical package they're using now, whether it's Minitab or mapping programs like Visio, they can just drag and drop those files in here. They'll be put alongside with the Compass tools and maybe over time uh, we'll win them over because most of our clients actually prefer the way Compass tools work uh, over and above uh, some of the other commercial packages out there. We can also have a very specific Project Gantt chart specific to every methodology uh, that, you, that you are using today. So that was a quick overview of the projects. I mentioned that um, you know, we don't tie your hands behind your back. You can always get to the tools or the training even from the main menu. So a quick overview of the tools. Um, these can be downloaded to your hard drive. You no longer need to be connected to the internet. You can have that tool for any purposes, whether it's a project or just something that's ad hoc. Save it um, as a different file name and you'll always have it available to you. Share it with other people. They don't even have to be Compass users. Once you accept the license agreement, you can share these tools with anybody. Um, and so that's a great value as well. These are the same tools that we would be pushed out to SharePoint. Um, and so you can be working in a SharePoint environment. The advantage of that is that, again, you don't have to be a Compass user. Most organizations that license SharePoint or any document management system are using it broadly. Uh, so in other words, all the employees have access to it, and so they can access our tools and templates um, on the SharePoint side as well. Um, again, we can, um, we can access the tools and training from within a project, or you can come right here and get directly into the training. A lot of our clients go from the very beginning to the very end of this training, and then they go and sit for the ASQ exam. Why do they do that? Because this is the same training that is sold by ASQ all over the world. So you're well prepared to sit for that exam uh, if you choose to, uh, to do so. There is some professional audio associated with this. I'm not sure you're going to hear it on this particular demo, but just to give you a sense of how advanced this, U, this, uh, uh, this UI is, I'm going to play a couple slides for you. So I just uh, has been poking around here a little bit to give you a feel for it. Pretty advanced user interface. You can listen to that background music if you like. You can turn it off. You can listen to the professional audio or you can turn it off. You can follow along with the script um, or you can uh, just read the script. Everybody likes to, to learn a little differently. And so um, we've created a very robust learning management platform. We, we gave our developers a seemingly impossible challenge to create something that is so much fun and so engaging that people can't wait uh, to get online and begin, begin the process of learning, um, even including some learning games that are frankly a lot of fun. Um, so here's an example of one now, and now I'm under the gun to, um, to actually finish this up uh, before time runs out. So let me just concentrate on this. For a second, I'm uh, a little nervous here, but I think I think I can get it. Think I can get it done. There you go. So, uh, very robust, very advanced learning management system here that um, we've got available to you within the Compass software. Uh, as I mentioned, um, this was developed in partnership with ASQ. ASQ sells this all over the world. Um, we included it with Compass as a just-in-time learning system because we're recommending to you the best module based on where you are. I want to wrap this up. Um, we've given you some visibility into really this top row here. The 5S management um, module is very similar in workflow to any other methodology, DMAIC, A3, PDCA. Uh, the difference here and why we pulled it out is because we included an audit feature that you can actually track the compliance of the work environment with the 5S in a run chart. So you're measuring over time how well your 5S has sustained. Uh, the reporting uh, 
dashboard gives you a global view into all the activity in the organization here by business area and dollar value here by number of projects and departments but up here is where frankly the real value is if you wanted to find a nice clean return on investment report you'd probably look at completed projects here um, it will give you both the tangible and intangible savings across year on year on different departments um, if i wanted to look at um, you know the specific projects and where they were uh, and in terms of their progress, I've got all the projects here. Uh, I've got to do a better job of my demonstration database of, of putting in the, the, the completion dates. I can drill into different individuals here and see how well they're doing on their projects as well. My favorite report is the on-time delivery report. It uses color coding to show me whether I have projects ahead, behind, or missing data. Compass will um, look at this once a, once a week and send a courtesy heads up to individuals that are either approaching a milestone, uh, missing data, or falling behind. So um, again, many other uh, attributes here. You can have uh, reports by specific KPIs, KPIs that are specific to the project that you're running, reports that allow you to understand whether people are really utilizing, the extent to which they're utilizing, um, uh, Compass. The detail reports are, are worth talking about for just a second because they include the A3 report. And allow me also to point out to you that, you know, if you were on the receiving end of one of these one of these reports, um, it would come to you in an email when you click that send project update. And I want to show you what it looks like and as well point out another benefit. So let's just imagine that you were mentoring somebody, um, you know, they're working for you or, or you are a uh, a master black belt or an executive uh, and overseeing this work that is being done by somebody else, you might be suitably impressed by this A3 report. It's pretty robust as you can see here and you can push it to other people in PDF, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. But the other real benefit is if you wanted to see the detail behind it, that one click takes you right back into that SharePoint site or other document management system. The timestamps allow you to drill right into um, the most recent activity. So a lot of efficiencies that are that are in here uh, for your benefit to keep you uh, to keep you uh, um, focused on the improvement work and to get you the information you need very quickly. A support tile allows you to get in touch with us as well. It gives you access to the most recent user guide. So whenever we deploy an update, you can get the uh, the documentation here. And then the admin controls, well, let's just save that for another day. That's going to be specific to the individuals at your end that are going to be empowered to make minor changes to the database, adding or subtracting users, um, changing business areas or methodologies. We'll do all that for you as well, but we do want to give you the keys to the score, store so you can be somewhat independent if you're a rapidly moving organization. So a um, couple other things I want to show you. These are some public domain uh, sites that you can uh, peruse to get more information about Compass from real users. This is the G2 Crowd site. Um, gave us a score of 4.1. You might be wondering, well, why are we not a 5.0? That's the highest level you can get. But you know, even some people that give us give us good marks for for our product don't give us five stars. So um, again, though, I'd invite you to come out here and to read the real reviews from real users. I think that um, you'd probably want to go to most helpful. Um, and you'll find uh, um, folks that have given us quite a bit of feedback. I'm scrolling down here and you can just see the quantity of them. I think that there are close to 50 people in here that have given us a review on G2 Crowd. G2 Crowd has recognized Compass as a high performer for the past eight consecutive quarters. Also, we are on um, uh, Captera, which is a subsidiary of Gartner Research. Uh, we just started being picked up by uh, Captera. We have um, several reviews there, five out of five uh, rating on Captera. And from both of these sites, you can access that five minute video. So uh, that's all I have for today. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I hope I've accomplished that and I hope you found some value. I'm just gonna bring up our contact information here at the end if you want to get in touch with us. Um, you can get in touch with us uh, through email info at creato.com. Uh, you can also track us in our activities both across the country as well as some of our published programs at creator.com forward slash events. Thanks again for your time. Hope to hear from you soon. Make it a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.